the Mid Journey Downloader app of the Mid Journey uh, Automation Suite. Um, very similar to the Mid Journey Automator, um, we have uh, a setup Chrome section where we set up Chrome uh, to then automate it. Um, and the other uh, sections of this app include uh, the, the uh, Discord reactor, the downloader, and the uh, bulk delete. So I'll just give a brief overview of each one, and then we'll demonstrate the uh, downloader or bulk download feature. So the Discord reactor is uh, a Discord bot automation tool. What that means is uh, you will create a bot inside of Discord to interact with your channel. Now, what this will do is it will uh, automate that bot. So it, it will instantiate it, it will launch it, and then you would interact with the bot inside of your channel to um, uh, react with uh, an envelope emoji, which is why it's called a Discord reactor. Um, the reason for that is because we need to uh, react with Discord, um, sorry, with, with envelope emojis to send the uh, images individually as opposed to uh, grouped to your DM feed. Um, I'll just demonstrate what that means here. So. When you create an image, um, when you generate an image with Midjourney, you get four variations of the same prompt. So this is Hello World prompt, and you've got four images. Um, you can download this as a single image, uh, but if you want to, um, you know, get them as individual images, then you need to react to this message with an envelope emoji. And Midjourney will then uh, separate them and send them as individual images to your DM feed with Midjourney. So if you go to DM meaning direct messages, so if you go to direct messages uh, and then you look for Midjourney bot on the direct messages, you will see uh, individual uh, images here. Now, obviously, we haven't got any here, but that will be demonstrated. Um, in the subsequently in this video so going back I'll just go really quickly back to uh mid journey so that's that's what the uh, discord reactor does um, <clears throat> um and the next section is the downloader so you have uh just the uh you'll have to enter just the uh, dm feed url here and hit download and that will go ahead and uh, interact with uh, the Chrome browser and download your images from the DM feed. And finally, the bulk delete, this is for clearing your DM feed so you can work on the next batch of downloads. Um, so that, that really helps you stay organized, especially when you, you're generating thousands and thousands of images and your DM feed becomes really, really large and really, really long, and it's very difficult to keep track of um, different creations. So let's say you created images for, I don't know, a, um, uh, a specific type of art, or and then you created another set of images for a different type of style, and you wanted to you know, download them separately and keep everything separate, uh, you would need to, clear the feed first before then downloading before then generating and downloading the next set of images so that's what the bulk delay is for um, for this video we'll, we'll demonstrate the um, download feature um, so let's go ahead and set up chrome as usual uh, so select the application folder for chrome and then the project folder which again is my um, uh, desktop uh, mod, mod mid journey images folder on my desktop, and then we launch Chrome. So I'm just going to minimize this uh, Chrome uh, window because that's not the uh, window that we'll be interacting with, it will be this one. So um, I'll just minimize that for now and minimize this 
window and this this window here has to stay open because otherwise it will close this one so let's keep that open um so to use the discord reactor like i said you need to create a bot on discord and then you need to obtain your discord token um I'm not going to go into details on how to do that. There's resources and guides online for that. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I already have my Discord token entered here. And the only other thing we need is a channel URL, uh, which I will um, get. Now, I need to show how to get that channel URL because it's a little bit different. For the channel URL, we, uh, we need to uh, grab the channel URL after we have scrolled all the way to the top like so um, and that's because the channel url is different based on where you are in the feed i'll just show that in a minute so uh if i uh if i uh just went to uh if i just loaded discord separately um And then I went to my channel. And you can see here, it says discord.com slash channel slash a number and then slash another number. But, uh, and, and as you can see, I'm at the very bottom of my channel. But to for this feature, we absolutely need to be scrolled to the top. And to do so, we need to go into the search bar and then select in channel and then type the name of the channel. In my case, it's test2. It's test2, which is this one here. And, uh, and then click on old so that it shows all the way to the oldest message, which is the top message. And then we click on jump. So that goes all the way to the top here, as you can see. And as you can see, the URL has changed as well. So instead of two numbers, we have three numbers now. So channel slash number slash number slash number. That's what we need. So we'll grab that. And then we enter it into the channel URL field. And then we click on launch bot. So what this will do is it, it will launch your Discord bot that you've created in Discord. And as you can see here, we have a message saying logged in as Meet Journey Pronter. And now go to Discord and type uh, question mark react in the channel you want to create, uh, sorry, react to all images, all messages in. So this is a command for your bot. Uh, and when you create the bot, you need to set that as a command because otherwise this will not work. So um, just to demonstrate that, we'll now, now our bot is running. Uh, you keep this open, you minimize it, and then you go into your channel. I can go to the very the message page, and then type uh, react question mark react. Hit enter. And now the bot is reacting to all the messages with uh, envelope emojis, as you can see. Let's just scroll up while we see that happening. It's reacting with the envelope emojis one at a time. And you have messages inside of the, the app saying uh, it's reacting to those messages and it's, it keeps account of the messages as well. So you can, you can tell uh, how, where along you are, how far along you are. Scroll all the way to the top. And finally, it will eventually complete. Okay. Now it's reacted to all messages in the channel. Um, and uh, yeah, that's done. So the next step would be to then click on React. So what this will do is it will interact with this uh, Chrome browser and it will click on 
the uh, React uh, emojis, the envelope emojis, so that we can have all our images ungrouped and sent to our DM feed. So go ahead and hit that. Now, before I do, I have to explain that this um, automates the mouse as well. So we need to make sure the mouse is undisturbed. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now it's launched um, the uh, Chrome browser and it's going to be reacting to the uh, messages. So just click on that to see, clicked on emoji of message one, message two, message three, etc. So that's working. And you can see the count of clicks is now two instead of one. So that's working. And eventually we'll complete. And now it has, it should come, it should have completed now. So we just check that. So say scrolling down one time. So it scrolled down. Now it says, uh, it's still clicking on the images. I'll just let that finish off first. And finally, it should uh, complete the process and says clicked on all uh, envelope emojis in the channel. So uh, we should have our images in mid journey DM feed individually, as you can see here. So we do have those individually now. So that's great. And uh, the next step then would be to download these images. And to do that, we need to um, grab a DM feed URL. Again, similarly to the channel URL, we need to go into search. We need to make sure it's uh, scrolled all the way to the top. And it has to have um, two numbers, which up here it has just one. So to do that, we go into search again, but this time, we say from user and then select mid journey bot. So that shows all our, our messages. We click on old and we click on jump. So it just so happens we scroll out to the top already, but we still need to repeat this step. So we get the right URL. As you can see, it has two now. So it has two slashes for the uh, DM feed and three uh, uh, numbers rather three numbers two numbers for the DM feed and three numbers for the channel URL. So we'll grab this for the DM feed and we enter that into the DM feed URL field and then hit download. Before I do again, um, just to explain uh, what's going on here. So the um, the bots will, the mid journey downloader will interact with this page and will use the mouse to do so. So we need to minimize this window as well as leave the mouse undisturbed. Now I can from time to time flip back to this window just to see the status and then flip back again, but it's best to just let it run. So I'll click on download now and you'll go ahead and load the URL. As you can see, it's two slashes and then it will start 
downloading the images. So it's saying downloading image. Two, three, and four of message two, one, two, three, and four of message three, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's doing that uh, into my projects folder, as you can see here. So all the images are being downloaded into my uh, project folder, which I set up earlier. Um, and uh, yeah, that will take uh, a couple of a uh, couple of seconds to complete. Uh, so we have, uh, I think we have something like 23 messages. So I'll just minimize that for now and let it run. And um, until it completes. So it's a message 14. So it will use the mouse to scroll the page. So the best thing to do would be to minimize this window and let it run until it's, uh, it, it completes the uh, download and it scrolls the page all the way to the bottom. So we're at message 26 now. Now it's going to uh, use the mouse to scroll down to carry on downloading messages. So it scrolled down using the mouse and it's carrying on the downloads. So let's let that run. And when it completes, it will try to download um you'll try to scroll down further until it goes to the very end of the page Just quickly check that. Okay, so it's completed. It says no new messages found. Downloaded a total of 136 images from a total of 136 prompts. Obviously, it's saying 136 prompts because you have the same prompts repeated four times but it's not 136 prompts it's divided by four whatever that is so all our images are now downloaded into our projects folder and that's the um download function um in addition to that we have a prompts uh csv file here which is really handy for um keeping track of everything so we have the prompts, these are the prompts. So there's obviously, like I said, uh, the same prompt repeated four times because we have four individual uh, image generations for each prompt. Um, and this is the image name, uh, .pngs. Um, the software uh, appends uh, an F for file and then a number one, so you can have a count so it goes all the way to 136 so you have 136 um, images from the number of prompts you have there so that's it for the demo thank you for watching